So we've started basically building a new mesh from our Sculptress model. Um, I've gone through and retopologized the mesh in Topogun, uh, and I have decided that I want to get that same detail that I've already sculpted in Sculptress on this new topology. But since we don't have subdivisions uh, on our initial mesh, there's just the one pestilated model using voxels, we need to bring this into ZBrush and, and do what's called a reproject. Um, so I brought it back into Max and uh, mirrored my model over, made sure it overlapped just right with my, uh, my mesh. You'll note the body, as I sculpted in ZBrush, the, the last bit of ZBrushing I did, I made it asymmetrical. I just wanted to work on one side's shapes just to kind of pin them down. Um, but I'm actually not going to worry about the body sculpt at all, because the body sculpt was just totally gestural. So right now you can see the faces overlapping correctly. Uh, we want to only work with that area, just the, the head itself, the body, its body's going to get thrown out. Um, and I'll re-sculpt that once I get to that point. Um, but I will have a new clean low poly model to work with instead of the kind of garbagey triangle model. So I export a model out, um, there'll be an OBJ, uh, it'll load up the original ZBrush file. Stupid ZBrush UI. Changing resolutions. Um, reopen ZBrush real quick. So, fight with this. Definitely makes me look classy. Uh, I guess I'll have to change the resolution, so give me one second here. Uh, there we go. So, I'm going to load up the tool. Uh, I'll grab my goblin model uh, as I last used it and worked with it in ZBrush which, like I said, will have the head symmetrical, correct, uh, correct and symmetrical, but the body's gonna be asymmetrical. Looking like Popeye and shit. Kind of silly. Um, but we're not gonna worry about that. We, like I said, we're just gonna bring in the two meshes. We're gonna work on just fix just the head and uh, get rid of the stupid wax material. Um, once we get that head in space, we will, uh, here's the exp we're gonna export this mesh just get an OPJ out of Max. You can use GoZ, but I just want to show the steps. You can see me actually doing it. So we go and export it. And I'll give it an appropriate name. It's a lot of exclamation points. Just so you know it's serious business. Because I'm all serious. Get a couple ones in there. Export that sucker out. And let's bring it into ZBrush. I'll grab a Z sphere just to bring it in initially. Um, so we don't have a mesh that we're trying to re-import re over into, re import over the top of. Um, append the mesh in and hit the wrong button and crash the brush. So as you can see, this is not foolproof. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. I think I imported a dead mesh there, appended a dead mesh. Um, <laughs> it's embarrassing. So let's try it one more time. Change some jams real quick. Got a jam. Got a jam. Strawberry jam. Banana jam. I guess banana jam is what we're going to go with. All right, one more time. Load up our original goblin model. Gob.ztl. Different folder. Load them up. Put a bunch in scene apparently, that's what I'm gonna do. Load them up and then we will get our new mesh in. And this time be mindful not to grab a dead mesh. Go back to our original model and append it. And you'll see they're overlapping except for where their body is asymmetrical. Um, I can show you how to do fix the body symmetry later. Uh, so first thing we wanna do is subdivide our model. So we go down to geometry and we open up the geometry palette. Um, we're gonna turn off, uh, we're gonna turn off smoothing um, so that I don't, when I subdivide, I just tessellate the first couple subdivisions. And then I go about subdividing until, uh, we'll zoom in here, you can see the surface is super smooth. Uh, we wanna get as smooth as we can there because when we do reproject, it's going to, uh, it's going to test, like show you all of the facets if, um, if not. So now we want to make sure that we, we basically we're just going to mask out um, with the lasso mask. Um, just mask out the head. Just drag that selection. Uh, 
And once that's masked out, you can see the, the uh, actually that's the incorrect mask. We want to mask the other side. We want the body to be masked out because it, pretty much all operations in ZBrush will uh, ignore um, anything that's masked. So we've got our head selected. There's just the head. And now we turn on the, the model we want to project and it's just a matter of hitting the project all button. And we wait. This is going to be some good quality time spent with you guys. Um, so anyway, the, uh, right now we have just the head unmasked, which means that anything that's overlapping that space right now, when we hit that button, it's going to basically shrink wrap uh, the mesh that's, that's uh, unmasked onto whatever's in the scene. So if you had six tools in that area, maybe you had the eyeballs and um, you've added a mustache as a separate subtool or something like this, which I encourage mustache subtools at all times are great things. Uh, it'll actually project all that detail onto the single uh, mesh that we have that we brought in from Max. And it should be nice and clean. So you can turn off the other, the other tool and you'll see this is my, uh, my new head. And it's got every amount of detail that's in the other model since it was actually slightly faceted. Uh, when we zoom in, you'll see that uh, there is, um, you see there's there's uh, the triangles that you had from the original Sculptress model um, will be actually be projected in. It's that accurate. So um, if it was faceted, if it wasn't high enough detail, then you'll see all those little those little triangles in there. And it turns out that's actually not that they're actually it's actually triangulated. That's just projected in. So we can actually smooth that out and clean all that stuff up real quick. <laughs> and really, it's just a matter of cleaning out, you know, the scene between where it projected new detail, and um, uh, we can smooth out that neck and make it look kind of seamless. Um, it is one mesh now, so basically, as much detail as you want to work on, uh, you can do that. The, I can actually go repaint that whole body, resculpt that whole body now with respectable geometry, and I could do you know, the same thing as I did before: do some transposing to reproportion it a little bit. Um, which maybe I'll do in another video, but here we're just gonna I'm just gonna clean up some of these surfaces. You can see just smoothing out, doing a little bit of clay brush uh, to integrate where the that seam was from the reprojection. You could soften the the mask, and it would actually affect. You, know, you wouldn't have quite a hard line, but as you can see I can I can sculpt a pretty high amount of detail on this, um, whereas before uh, subdividing that triangulated mesh would have been a total nightmare. So basically we've gone through and and done some new topology, brought it in, uh, or brought in a uh, sculptress model, which isn't very clean, brought it in, made that new topology, reworked it, and now I have a high-res model with all the subdivisions through six. Um, so I can work on the low poly and reproportion things pretty, pretty easily and cleanly. And I can also uh, I can also continue to detail on higher subdivisions. So I'll be able to sculpt higher um, because it's a cleaner mesh. Uh, and be able to work on the lower res to keep the cleaner, cleaner shapes on the top res. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching.